This Ghirardelli Square is no ordinary chocolate. It's the result of over 150 years of perfecting to create our most intense, slow-melting, premium chocolate. Hmm, I wonder what I'll have. Not a big fan of almonds. Camera looks nice. I guess I have milk chocolate. Oh, howdy y'all. Welcome to Adventures Kindle. Today, we're going to the historic mining town of Hornillos, California. It's an old ghost town with a special place in California history. So come on, let's go to Hornitos. Here we are in the little town of Hornitos as the first community within Mariposa County. Hornitos get this name from the Spanish word for little ovens after settlers noticing the Mexican graves nearby. These tomb-like structures were built because the ground is too hard to dig. After being established in 1870, Hornitos became a stop for the Wells Fargo wagon and people started to come into town. But the people who came into town were not the kind you expect. When I want to know anything from you, I'll tell you, you long-legged son of a... You want to call me that? Smile. The people of Hornios were the roughest of all southern mining towns. Bandits, roughnecks, gamblers, and miners, who all ended up being outcasts from the nearby Quartzburg, came to Hornitos. In fact, the local dance hall had a hidden passageway for notorious bandits to use to escape from local authorities. One of these visiting outlaws was Joaquin Marietta, the infamous bandito who later served as inspiration for Zorro. Despite that, Hornitos did have law and order. They even had a one-room jailhouse. And here it is. The town also had a two-story hotel for guests to stay at while in the area. Over the years, Hornitos remained the same small western town that it was in 1870. Finally, in 1973, Hornitos was disincorporated by state stature, but not before becoming California Historic Landmark number 133 in 1931. Now that we have learned the history of Hornitos, let's check out the town itself. Come on, taking a stroll through town is fun, looking at all the stores and houses, but the most famous of the former is this little store right here. And it has a lot to do with the Ghirardelli chocolate I'm going to eat. In California, there are many surprises, and here Hornitos is no exception. This is where Ghirardelli chocolate started, when Dee Ghirardelli got so successful with his chocolate recipe while being a grocery store owner. He later moved to San Francisco to start his business as Ghirardelli Chocolate Incorporated. The building later became a bar with an Oddfellows meeting hall upstairs. While in ruins today, it is still owned by the Ghirardelli Chocolate Company. Yes sir, Hornitos is a fascinating place to check out. But let's head back to the studio. Time to get on stagecoach. Did you enjoy our time in Hornitos, folks? I certainly did, especially seeing the remains of that grocery store where Ghirardelli's chocolate began. I also enjoyed learning about the rough and rowdiness of that small community. It was amazing to know that some famous outlaws were in that town. Well, that's all the time we have here on Adventures of Kendall. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna enjoy some Ghirardelli chocolate.